I have argued that Trump's lawyers should assert his right to a speedy trial because I don't think the government is ready. I would demand a trial in the next month or so, A, to catch the government flat footed and B, to get it over with. But Trump, I think, has instructed his team to follow his normal practice, which is to delay it as long as he can. I honestly think that Trump expects the Republican nomination and expects to win and expects to pardon himself. Now, that's another constitutional issue as to whether that can be done. If those events were to happen, that would not help him in Georgia. He hasn't been indicted there yet, but that's coming. And it would not help him in New York. He's been indicted, but not convicted. But if the self-pardoning were upheld, Mar-a-Lago goes away and whatever's coming, we expect this week, January 6th goes away. So you think it's really that wide of a margin here? We're talking about either him pardoning himself in 2025 or asserting his rights to a speedy trial and trying to have all of this done before 2024. I think he will catch the government flat-footed if he asserts his right to a speedy trial. And by the way, that is almost always the case. The government is rarely ready. In this case, the government itself, the original trial date was August. The government said, well, we're not ready in August, give us December. And then everybody looked at, there's over a million pages of documents and said, we'll move it to May. So right now it's scheduled for May of uh, 24. If I were him, I would do it now, get it over with, get whatever the outcome. It's not gonna go to jail immediately. Get back to campaigning and have it behind you.